Coming up, we frolic on the Caledonian Canal, go off-road and explore Scotland's stunning locks. From the top to the bottom of the island we go home. morning we had a really good we had a really good night it was a little bit raining but our tent didn't swim away <laughs> I would say let's go ready to rock and rumble the rain had all cleared as we started out on our eighth day on the trail. We had been looking forward to this day since the very beginning. The flat towpath of the Caledonian Canal. No ups, no downs, just smooth flat riding lay ahead for us along the peaceful water's edge. We were now confident that we could achieve 50 kilometers in a day, so we set out to reach Fort William, where we would finally have our first day off, meeting back up with my parents for a home-cooked meal and a celebration of the 380 kilometers we had somehow survived so far. Is it? Well, empty? Not empty. The canal soon opened up to spectacular locks Oik and Locky. These picturesque lakes lie nestled between rising mountains of forest, the still blue waters reflecting the tranquility of the surrounding area. It was at times like these that we realised why we had wanted to travel the length of Britain in this way. Not flying down the highway with the windows closed, but pedalling every step of the way, with the wind in our hair, the sun on our faces and the sounds of nature all around.
We arrived in Fort William in the afternoon and were met by spectacular views of the UK's highest mountain, Ben Nevis. Being avid mountaineers, we would have loved to climb it, but unfortunately, the weather forecast for the next few days meant that this adventure would have to wait for another day. We were now ready to lay down our helmets and take a well-earned rest. It's day 10. Day, day 10. 10. We had yesterday a day off. For me, it's still very, it's still very exhausting um, mm -hmm. every day. Um, mm -hmm. Every cycle uphill is still a, ma a big, big challenge. I feel okay, yeah. I feel that my muscles growing here now on my thighs. I feel stronger already. A bit stronger? Yes, a bit stronger. A big thing with the bikes was, uh, was my seat. Yeah, this seat, I never got the, hang, got, got, got the hang of this seat. It just got worse, it got worse, it got more painful. Um, it was too hard. I don't know what kind of cycling this is meant for, but it was, it was this just too thin, too hard, not comfortable. So I tried your seat for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Yeah. Then I decided, okay, when we get here to Fort William, you get a woman's seat. So I ended up, so I ended up buying like almost exactly the same. We, we looked for the closest seat we could find to that one. Hopefully, this is this is going to be the answer. Tomorrow you will experience a long day with it and see yeah. how it goes. But certainly, anything is better than than what I had before. So the trail so far, it has been mostly on the road, and there's not too many roads here in the Highlands. It's mostly been on the same roads that most people are touring in their cars, in their camper van, on their motorcycles. Lots of trucks just passing, passing, passing. We're having to stop, allow cars to pass. They don't have any dedicated cycle trails or cycle tracks. I mean, there was one bit of respite along the Caledonian Canal. That was really the first time that we were off the main road. Yeah, yeah this is a little bit tough, yeah. It's a tough life on the bike. I guess we'll have to see what what comes in store for us on the on the next leg. So we're heading down through the West Highlands over the next couple of days, down through to Carlisle, um, and then across the border to England. Scotland here has really, really amazing freedom camping. Yeah, I mean, we tried to even book some places because we wanted to have a shower or something, but this season, because of COVID, they mostly they're not opening the shower blocks and they're not allowing camping they're just allowing self-contained motorhomes mm -hmm. so even if we did want to to go to a campsite uh we haven't actually been able to find or book any along mm -hmm. the way so mm -hmm. we've been freedom camping the whole time camping spots have been really beautiful places i mean this one here right on the side of this um firth here which is absolutely amazing the weather also i didn't expect sunny days every day and there has been a lot of rain. There has been a few days of sunshine. Yeah, I would say it's been the weather has been so far 50-50. We 50 -50. had really brilliant days, like so sunny and nice and just epic. And then yeah. on the other side, five days really bad. Yeah, yeah. The forecast does not look very good. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> so I think we're going to have a lot more bad days coming up than good days. Mm -hmm. We just have the one cycle outfit. When it gets wet, then, you know, the next day it's going to still be wet and still going to be raining and the tent is going to be wet. So Scotland has many challenges. I think it's like diving in at the deep end here. It's like, it's like sort of <laughs> extreme camping with midges everywhere. Uh, extreme hilly cycling with no experience. Okay, we're going to cook up some dinner now. What are we having for dinner? Mashed potatoes! Mashed potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> 
You never get tired of that. <laughs> okay, good night. Peace and love. Next time, we get rained on a lot. Take in some Scottish history, historic Scotland, check. And oh. enjoy five short minutes of sunshine. <laughs> That's so nice. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time.